dropped 18 songs this year. Uh, I think that's a good amount, <laughs> even though people are already <laughs> yes, asking so. for something new. I mean, already. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we we gonna we gonna slow it down and, and really marinate in in the music. Yeah, that's how our fans is. We never satisfied. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. So being a part of Holy Culture Radio at one time and seeing them grow and now serious and serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any reunion plans? Oh man, you that's a great question. Um uh oh man, how much can I go into this? Let's just say uh, at the at this point right now, there isn't only because I'm more focused on um, the curating. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, the people over at Holy Culture Trig, especially, um, I'm really, really appreciative. And actually, yesterday marked uh, three years since I started my, my radio show, uh, my oh, mix okay. show. Uh, mm -hmm. So it was three years. That's when I when I debuted. Um, and, and Trig is the reason why I even did that, man, because I didn't believe that I could do a mix show and be mm -hmm. that consistent you know every week having a mix going out to the people um i was i was intimidated in doing that because i was mm -hmm. like this they you know I, w I was just still fresh you know in mixing um mm -hmm. and for rise up i would do like these 12 to 15 minute mixes but mm -hmm. then to do like a whole hour a whole hour is is a is you know that's like 30 songs you got to come with and that's every week so um mm -hmm. So yeah, so this it's a possibility. There's a possibility mm -hmm. there, and there, there are. I've gotten DMs, people asking me, "Yo, we need the radio show back." Um, mm -hmm. So that's a possibility. Uh, but right now, you know, uh, the focus in is on the curating. Um, mm -hmm. I don't want to, you know, I haven't even taken out my my controller, my DJ controller, uh, mm -hmm. in like two years. So mm -hmm. like, just been collecting dust because just the focus ain't there, and also just haven't felt. Um, inspired you know what i mean i don't mm -hmm. want to i don't want to create from a place because during 2020 you know what i mean especially when you know we had the whole george floyd thing happening mm -hmm. um it was hard so. to to dj mm -hmm. um, and like i so. remember one time i just broke down and i just did the whole show was worship music so i was like i can't so. mix i can't mix mm -hmm. today um mm -hmm. so uh yeah it, it was it was it was rough um from a creative standpoint to to really create um, and I felt like I wasn't able to give my best. Uh, it felt like, you know, I was a little sloppy, uh, cause I just wasn't, I just wasn't in it. Um, mm -hmm. so rather than hurt the, the, the station or the product, um, I chose to, to stop. Um, but it, like I said, good people over at Holy Culture, um, Trig, shout out to him. Uh, I love what they're doing. I support them fully and completely being over at Sirius XM. Um, I, I'm a listener, you know, I subscribed uh the mm -hmm. series so that i can listen um and you know they have a lot of they have a lot of um shows that are like really pushing the boundaries and now i know mm -hmm. they just added track stars um so they they got plenty over there you know D he brought wade o back like that's huge hey, yeah he that's huge. Wade o, you know what i mean that's huge for the space yeah. yes sir. yeah <laughs> so just having wade o back in the space and and um you know uh, feeling that thing that i feel like was mixed missing when he wasn't there it was it was literally missing and nobody mm -hmm. can do it way though does so um yeah it's uh they're they're in a good spot we'll see as far as the future um if i get a, a, a prickle you know like an inkling that i should do do it again i'll do it um but as of right now it would literally just be service it wouldn't be from me wanting to do it you know what i mean so yes sir yes sir yeah i think the george floyd incident it it shook me mm-hmm it shook me, James. It, it it really did and affected all my brothers and sisters around me too. Yeah. You know, my especially my black and brown brothers. Yeah. Uh, and sisters. So yeah, I, I I understand the pause and from a creative perspective and things like that. And before we close out, I'd like to give an artist tip on something that you just mentioned too as well. Uh, I heard DJ Jesus Beats talking about this one time. So this is an artist tip for the artists out there listening that our platforms, they're good, right? And they're needed. But getting your music in front of these DJs, right? Because they're playing your music and other people listening. And it's just like the podcast, right? I don't get caught up in how many downloads and everything anymore because I have people like, like, 
my partner out there, Pastor Eddie Richardson, he owns a barbershop. So he plays the podcast in the barbershop. So it's no telling how many people then that came in and heard something or heard someone or heard me say anything that had God has lended their ear at the time to hear something to change their perspective and outlook and, and direction in life, right? Uh, my mother just retired as a school teacher. She plays the podcast in school mm. and she goes to... Uh, well, she retired from uh, a private school with her church, right? So I don't get caught up in the numbers and stuff. I know people are listening, but artists, the artist tip is platforms are important, but also get in touch with some of these DJs out here that's putting your music out in front of different listeners and, and some of their people that listen to them. 